Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, just another tabletop gun review here for you. Um, this one is going to be on my Henry Single Shot 3030. Had this one for a little while, I just haven't really done a whole lot of shooting with it. A little bit, but not much. And I thought, well, you know what, let's do a review on it. Kind of give you guys my thoughts, my impressions. And uh, let's talk about it. So, nice thing about this is it's a single shot. So let's have a quick look, as usual. The gun is empty. There are no rounds in the chamber. And it locks up nice and tight. Um, yeah, so let's have a look here. So, I got this gun, oh, maybe six months ago, maybe a little more. And... Because initially I was looking for a Henry Long Ranger, chambered in 308. I looked everywhere, couldn't find it. So I was able to get my hands on this one. So I thought, well, why not? 3030 has been around for a very, very long time. And it will continue to probably be around long after I am dead and gone. So I wasn't worried about the, uh, the caliber because 3030 is a great, great caliber to shoot. So I was okay with it. Single shot, well, I wasn't really too upset about that either because sometimes having a good single shot rifle, um, you just can't go wrong sometimes. And I kind of feel like that's going to be the case with this one. Uh, Henry did a really good job on these. Uh, check ring's really nice. Um, you know, it does, it does lock up really nice, right? Nice and tight. So there's that. Um, I, again, I, I have put maybe a maybe a dozen rounds through this so far and no issues no failures to fire nothing you know everything goes bang like it should not a lot of moving parts on these either because they're obviously single shot uh, one one thing that I'm, I'm considering uh, you know, doing the work I'm considering doing having done on this gun is the trigger trigger is a little heavy not too bad but I kind of like a, maybe a little more of a lighter trigger, and this one's, you know, it feels very heavy when you when you squeeze it. So I, I may very well uh, send it into my local gunsmith here, and just get him to lighten up the trigger for me. Haven't really totally made up my mind yet, but I'm I'm heavily leaning in that direction because I'm used to, you know, triggers in the three three and a half pound mark, and this one is definitely heavier than that. So there's that. Uh, what else to tell you guys? Uh, again, great little guns. Um, the rear sight does fold down and is adjustable, which is nice. Uh, these Henrys are drilled and tapped, so you can put bases on them and scopes. Let me show you guys there that they are. You know, holes so you can put a base on. I have not really ventured into that too much yet. I, I just haven't had time. Uh, but I do understand from some limited research I've done that there is options for scope bases for these rifles. I just haven't gone too far in that direction yet. Uh, what else? You know, these, these guns are were reasonably priced. I think I only paid, I want to say this was about 450 out the door. So that's not too, too bad. Um, oh, I will mention, uh, there is or was a recall on these rifles. Now I called a while ago to Henry and waited for a call back. Anyways, they got back to me. This was a little while ago, but I was told that this rifle wasn't affected by the recall. So I guess that's good. I don't really want to have to send a gun in that I just gotten to get fixed and I hadn't done a lot with it. So this gun's fine. It's not affected by the recall. So I'm happy about that. Uh, other than that, guys, one thing I will let you guys know is that this um, rifle, this Henry, this model that they did, uh, it doesn't chuck, it won't throw the brass when you break it to uh, rechamber another round. It will not throw the brass. There's no ejector to chuck the brass out. So you just got to pull the brass, the empty brass when after each shot. Some, I know there are some single shot models out there. Well, when you break it, it chucks the brass, but Henry didn't. Didn't include that in this model, which is totally fine. That's just how they built it. So just to let you guys know that uh, you're going to have to do the work. Other than that, guys, I like it. it. It's light. It's not heavy. It's accurate. I just with the irons here, I have uh, was able to uh, you know put put a a good grouping at 75 yards just with iron sights, and I'm happy with that. So 
that's uh, you know 75 yards in a reasonably decent group will you know that's that's likely going to be deer in the freezer right so I'm not too uh, not too worried about that I, I the accuracy is is just with irons is good enough for me at this point and I may go with the scope and stuff but if I do do a scope I'm going to need a, a hammer spur but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Uh, one thing I will say about this rifle is that, and just as a kind of a, you know, uh, my thoughts is that, you know, this, well, the 3030 in general is, is a good round, but these single shot rifles I feel like would be a really good rifle uh, for someone new to shooting or new to maybe getting into hunting, right? So it's, it's one round, you know, obviously you only got one, so you got to practice lots. And uh, this, I think, would be a good gun for a new, a new hunter or a youth hunter, perhaps, if that was the case. I know my wife is considering getting into hunting, and I think that I'm going to have her, uh, you know, maybe learn to learn to hunt with this this rifle because it's it's not a, it's not a large rifle. It's it's fairly fairly small and compact, and 30 is a good a good you know I, I find middle of the road caliber. For, for hunting whitetail, I, I'm sure we could argue that for days, but you know, I'm sure there are plenty of videos on YouTube of people shooting whitetail deer with 3030s, and uh, there'll be probably many more in the future because it's just it's a, it's a good sort of middle of the road caliber, and just about pretty well anybody can can get behind it and shoot it, and it's not gonna you know pound the hell out of your shoulder. So I think I might do that with the wife. We'll see. Maybe she. Uh, she likes the 308, or maybe she likes something bigger. But we'll kind of cross that bridge when we get to it. Other than that, guys, I don't have a lot to say. It's a single-shot rifle. Henry did a good job. Uh, there is a recall out there for uh, these Henry rifles. So if you're uh, looking at getting one, maybe just check with Henry first to make sure that the one you're looking at or the one maybe you have isn't affected by the recall because obviously we don't want to have unsafe firearms, and obviously Henry doesn't either. So, if you can get one, do it. Um, they're nice. I think you'll like them. I like mine. I'm happy with it so far. Uh, one last look before we go at the Henry single shot 3030 rifle. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day, and I will see you guys later.